This is from UT Dallas, and uh, we did a song together, Be Our More. Thank you. 
before. How y'all doing? We're doing great. I feel like a chicken with my head cut off. There's some more chairs up here. There's some floor up here. Y'all can come sit if you'd like. Miss Jen Shoes up next. Poetry, poetry, go like this. While she's on her way up to the stage, I'm gonna make an announcement real quick. Don't forget, our Love Magic, November 2nd, is the open meeting. If you're interested in being part of it, come then. 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Art Love Magic office. November 19th is the Kids Workshop. Open to the public, it's gonna be at Trees, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. <laughs> Multiple artists will be teaching the kiddos. Again, there's a lot more seats up front, y'all. Y'all, come on, come on, come on in, come on in. Don't be scared. <laughs> be quiet. Too hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is number four on you? I'll worry about later. <laughs> it's, no, I wanted to make sound, it's okay. One more time, you guys, give it up for Jin Shu. And so, I don't have any of it memorized. But, uh, 
Uh, I'm going to make it still interesting for you. So, um, I write different types of poetry. I write uh, funny poetry, sad poetry, hopeful poetry, and long poetry. So, but I wanted to start with funny because I thought that would be good. So, anyway, uh, this poem is about work because I used to be an accountant. And then I started like getting suicidal or something. I was like, something's wrong. And then I found out I was an artist. And then, um, <laughs> so this is a poem called um, Dangled and Doomed. Okay. Oh, and one of my greatest poetry uh, inspirations for my funny poetry is Lewis Carroll, who wrote Alice in <clears throat> We toiled and dangled. We dangled and doomed. At least till seven or eight. We counted the numbers, replaced all the papers until it got very late. We called certain people to see about things of importance with much little matter. We stacked every sheet and clipped them together, correctly recorded our spatter. We watched as the birds flew past our windows, the sun went by with the cars. We hungered for dinner, for ales and for platters, while driving home under the stars. And that poem is basically about the fact that every single night, everybody in the accounting department all the way down the hall worked until past 7 p.m. and half of them had like three kids at home and it just always blew my mind. So, um, so that poem was sort of for them. So. Um, all right, so I have 10 minutes. My poems are short, so probably fine. If somebody can like tell me when I'm running out of time. Oh, okay. This one is called How to Fall Out of Love with Someone. And goes like this. How to fall out of love with someone. Well, someone, well, <clears throat> put tomato sauce on their pants and face. Draw a circle around their heart and no other place. Feed them cookies when you don't want to and smash those cookies on the bottom of your shoe. Eat them yourself and then take a bath. Drink three cups of dirty soap water real fast. Now you have five minutes to run around outside and scream to all your neighbors real loud, I'm alive, I'm alive. Now you're not in love anymore. Because you tried all this stuff, except when you wake up, you might have a little love puff. If you have trouble with your morning brain, try these steps again in opposite order without refrain. Once you've made it to the secret sauce past the circling heart, you should know if you were meant to have this love from the start. Yeah. How to fall out of love with somebody if anybody needs a copy because they're trying. And I will copy it. Um, Oh, so I still have like nine minutes or something? Okay. <laughs> this one is called, it, I just how happened to be all skits up on coffee right now. So that's like my favorite drink. <laughs> and um, I don't drink alcohol, really, whatever. But uh, this one is called uh, Drink Coffee Instead. Okay. <clears throat> and it goes like this. If you wake up and you want to be dead, it's a good idea to drink coffee instead. If you're driving around and you think an oven looks good on your head, you may just want to drink coffee instead. I drink coffee to make me smile and get me going. You can drink it anywhere and soon your mind won't be showing. Some like to take a shower and then get a cup. I like to pour it black with sugar and stuff. If you wake up and a gun is the first thing you want out of bed, it may be a good idea to just drink coffee instead. If you want to do something real good for your head and rid of all those crazy thoughts you need to shed, then don't be a murderer or hurt children 